and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do the cartoon clothing on Pixar. So the picture I used is a beautiful picture of Soph and she is a beauty influencer, um, lifestyle kind of influencer I guess. Um, I've been watching her for years. Her name's Soph and I'll leave her YouTube channel which has just over a million subscribers and her Instagram link down below if you want to go check her out. But yeah, apart from that, let's get straight on into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is scroll along on the app Pixar and click draw and then click the pen and click the dropper and then go and go over the item of clothing that you want to basically get the correct colour for. Um, then click the pen, you can resize this, click the first option there and then obviously resize this to however you want it and all we're going to be doing is outlining Soph's jumper or whatever item of clothing you're adding the cartoon effect to. Um, also bear in mind this process is quite long, like this is a pretty long process. Obviously for something like a jumper it's a little bit easier for, for things like a pair of jeans and smaller things like shoes that will take quite a while to get it, you know, perfect. Um, but yeah, anyway, you just want to basically roughly outline this because um, we'll clearing it up all later. Then click on the layers button and press add layer. And then we want to hide the um, layer that we just did with the jumper. And then make sure you are on the top layer, like selected on that one. Change the brush size and change it to black and make sure this is on like one or two, um, I would say. And we're just going to outline the entire thing. Um, we can add any creases um, onto it as well, um, but just to kind of outline the main pieces, I guess. Also, in the future, bear in mind that I am actually going to be um, offering a variety of photo and video editing services, including this effect. Um, obviously, the prices will be very low um, because I know not everyone has the money and everything. Um, and the first few things I get, the first few clients, if you will, um, I'll probably just offer it for free because I would want to sort of build up my portfolio and everything. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as you guys can see on here, I'm just outlining this bit. Um, I cut out so much footage. By the way, I've had to edit from 38 minutes of footage down to five minutes and that's not even the whole thing that I was editing for. So um, what I'm doing now is I just changed the layer to the jumper and now I'm going to click on the rubber so I can't actually rub out the black lines but I can rub out any excess um, of the purple colour of the jumper so I'm just cleaning it all up, making it look all nice um, and yeah so if you guys would be interested in you know, purchasing your own intro, outro, thumbnail, and this cartoon effect on any of your photos, um, loads of different things I can do for you guys, let me know. Um, and then we are going to move on to the shoes. So, um, I am basically picking a nice pastel, sort of yellow colour, um, and this is very, very tedious, I'm not going to lie, this is quite difficult. Um, I'm also changing the little blue bit on the back of the shoe to the same colour as well, so it like matches a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm just basically colouring in the tick of the Air Forces. And yeah. Um, and then I'm just sort of correcting it using the rubber where I can. And then we are going to move on to the bottom of the shoe. So the sort of sole of the shoe because I want to get rid of that mud on the shoe. So I actually really like this colour, like I think it's really cute. I kind of like changed it a little bit um, as well. So it's not the exact colour, but I think it looks really nice personally. So yeah, again, this took forever. So that is what, another reason why I am offering editing services because I know not everyone has the patience and the time to do these sort of things. Um, although I am a very busy person myself, um, I do athletics outside of YouTube, um, although I'm not training right now at the club or anything. Um, and then we're going to move on to the other shoe and do the exact same thing. So then I just went ahead and did the rest of camera and this is what the final photo ended up looking like. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you want to grow your channel, learn all about editing and YouTube hacks, then make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye, I love you.